Okay guys, today I'm going to be unboxing the HD Build Fighters China Guy, or actually China Guy, I know, but it's just so ridiculous that they named this kid China Guy. Uh, they had to know how that sounds, I think, even though, I mean, they're Japanese and they're looking at it in Japanese and it's China Guy, but, I mean, they have to know how China is spelled and, like, Guy, as in, like, Otoko, it's in, like, a dude. It's just kind of a weird name. But anyway, it's not that weird, I mean, considering it's, it's, her name is China, and it's the bear guy, so kind of together a China guy, anyway, whatever. So, here's the box art, it's a pretty standard um, Build Fighters box art, it's not really as nice as box art from other series, but this one's not too bad, it's pretty basic, I mean, for, for what you're getting in here, I think this kind of box art does the job of displaying, it's basically the, the bear guy with our uh, Musume uh, kind of style girl character in robot thing. So I guess what basically what this is actually supposed to be is not actually a model kit of a model kit, but actually a model kit of her doing a cosplay of the bear guy. So this is actually uh, one more 44 scale, I guess would not actually be correct for this. I'm not sure what that would be. I guess it would be closer to like uh, one twentieth scale, one uh, sixteenth scale maybe something. I don't know. But maybe a 1 16th scale, I guess, sort of, it was kind of what a 144 scale Gundam kind of size would be compared to a real human, I don't know. But anyway, some stuff here in the corner of the box about the two new Build Fighter series, uh, Battle Log and Jim's Counter Attack there. You can watch those online. Going around here to the side, this is number 55 in the Build Fighters line. Here's showing just a couple of the different options, so you can have the bear head or you can have it without the bear head and you can have it just normal arms or the bear guy arms. It does come with a stand as well, which is nice, that's always appreciated. A little bit of information there. I guess if you did want some uh, background here, you can actually see that in that information. And then the list price of 2200 yen, so not cheap. I think you really have to want this kit, but I think it, if, <laughs> if you're going to be buying this kit, you're really going to have to want it anyway, so I think 2200 yen, I guess, is something you're probably gonna, I suppose, be willing to pay if it's something you really want. Other options here is you have, uh, for the head, just a regular kind of pink headband or that uh, the bare ears headband if you want to use that. For the glasses as well, I know you can use the glasses without clear pieces and with clear pieces. So you have that option. I think kind of without clear pieces it looks kind of weird because it's glasses without glasses. But with the glasses it, it definitely kind of Maybe it takes away from the look of the face a little bit, I don't know, but we'll have to see. So here it is, just displayed with the regular Bear Guy San. Alright, let's get into seeing what we got here. I have a feeling that actually not really much of this is going to be taken from any other kits. It's probably going to be mostly all pretty new, but uh, we'll see. Here's the face, and boy is that face looking so dead and emotionless. <laughs> oh, Bandai. Alright, and then... Uh, of course, looks like we've got some soft plastic as well, all right, love to see that, thank you. And our flesh tone parts there are uh, one of the parts for the base. And then here, I was going to say this is old parts, this is actually all new, so it's uh, completely new, looks like, except for the base, obviously. Uh, so just at first glance, that's how it looks to be. Here's the manual, the box right there on the front, on the bottom, just uh, more about that. Again, if you want to check that information out, you can read that and read that, so yeah. On the back, just talking about the customized plan here. So it's all based on Cute MS, uh, China Eyewear, China Bear Guy Headband, yeah, it's all just kind of whatever. And then uh, Color Guide here, and then some of the HD Build Fighters lineup kits there. The uh, Super Fumina Axis Angel, the Amazing Strike Freedom, and the Gundam Schwarzritter. So that's it, it's all just construction there from that point. So just switching around to the parts list here, you can see uh, nothing going to be X'd off at all, actually it looks like, except for just one part of the stand, and that's it. So it's just kind of basic construction, I don't really need to show that you guys this, but you're just building it. Gonna be If you're familiar with the Super Fumina kit, I'm sure it's going to be going together very similarly. Let's just get into the runners, shall we? Okay, so here is our foil sticker sheets, so obviously just a whole bunch of eyes here, eyes with kind of eyeshadow, sort of, and then like looking straight and looking off to the sides, and then just kind of regular eyes, and then the kind of eye brow, kind of whatever eyelashes as separate stickers. And then some stickers here, which looks like for the glasses, as well as for the headband, so unfortunately it looks like those are maybe not going to be 
uh, actual s color separated parts are not molded in the correct colors which is pretty disappointing if not or maybe they're just like molded in red and they're supposed to be pink the colors just a little bit different I don't know I'll have to see but uh, a few other ones here these white ones look like they're for like the kind of uh, which would basically, I guess be kind of like the claws of the bear guy is what I'm guessing those are for and then a couple of the black ones there and then we have our base which is just molded in red it's actually a pretty ugly color of red uh, but a, at least we have a base you can always paint that in a different color so here we have runner A, nice big four color runner here, just a few clear parts there for the eyes and the glasses, uh, a few brown parts there mostly for the hair, some white, and then some yellow in here, and just a whole bunch of different parts for here and there and everywhere. The runner marking for this one is kind of interesting though, because it's simply marked BFG1, so I obviously don't think that stands for Big Fucking Gun, probably stands for Build Fighter's Girl, I guess, would be my guess, but uh, that's, I, yeah, anyway, it's all new parts. That's made a little bit even more interesting because this runner here is the China guy. This one is actually specifically marked just China guy. It's not marked with the BFG one, but uh, this is just more parts here in yellow for the bear head and some of the other uh, main parts for the bear. Here we have runner C1 with uh, one little kind of dark gray part there, which I think is maybe for the backpack. Some yellow parts in here or some other parts and then some flesh tone parts here. It looks like for like the stomach section and this uh, terror of a face. Yeah, oh, Bandai, Bandai, Bandai. And then we have runner C2, which is a copy of that uh, section of yellow. And then we have some red parts here. Now all this red is molded in like kind of a softer red. So it's not like really soft plastic, uh, but we have like our glasses here, which are molded in red. So you don't, don't really know why you would need a sticker for that. But yeah, kind of a softer plastic. I don't really know how well the paint is gonna stick to that. Should be okay, as long as you're not bending it too much, but uh, we'll see how that goes in the review. Runner D here is all in that uh, kind of flesh tone color, so this is just mostly parts for different joints. Our hands are on there, thigh parts, and this, this runner is labeled BFG2. So I, a lot of these parts look familiar from the A runner and this runner as well. I think some of these parts are reused from the Super Fumina kit, actually. Uh, but I don't think that the runner is different, I think, but I don't know. Anyway, that's that. And then finally, runner E1 is our white frilly parts, and this one is in a even softer plastic. It's not quite as like soft rubbery as the Super Fumina kit, which is nice. It's definitely soft, but I'm not really as displeased with this as I was on the Super Fumina, which was just a really terrible soft runner rubber. Um, this is not quite as bad. So that is it. This should be an interesting build. I was really on the fence, actually, to be honest, whether I wanted to get this kit uh, to build and review it for you guys, but I just thought, yeah, it looks interesting, and I'm sure I can come up with something cool to do with it uh, eventually, just as like my own project, I mean. But if you want to pick up this kit or uh, whatever else, you can check out USA Gundam store, use my coupon code ZAKORILIUS10, the information is down below, uh, the link for their store, you can buy this kit or uh, other tools, other kits, whatever else you want. You can check out that out there and uh, save 10%, so check that out. Thank you guys as always for watching, I'll have the review coming up for you next. I'll see you then. Have a good one, guys. Bye-bye. Hey! Thanks for watching, guys. Remember, if you want to check the kit out for yourself, you can head over to USA Gundam Store. Use that coupon code, Zakorilius10. Save yourself 10%. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.